Cameron, it's been a couple of weeks since we've had a chance to catch up. Uh, let's first talk about uh, the team's trip deep into the heart of Texas uh, and what that experience was like for the guys to have spring break together uh, and how the team did winning two out of three matches down there. Yeah, we had a fantastic week in Texas. We you know, were in the Austin area traveling with the women's team, so just on the you know, starting level, traveling together as a team, just spending the time together, spring break, no classes, just getting that fellowship time together and we spend so much time near the women's team where our practice times are so close to each other and we spend time kind of interacting so to get that time together in just in the sunshine relaxed was just a ton of fun we've got a lot of traditions and games that we play together and uh, the place we stayed was right on the river so there was just a lot of vacation aspects to it that was a blast um, but more importantly the tennis was really a success all the way around uh, the first match started at Shriner. That was our first day there, so to land the day before, d didn't get a practice in, and we had our first match all season outside against Shriner, a team that probably should have beaten us. We were down to the wire, came down 4-4, lost it 5-4. Really good experience, really, really good learning. Um, maybe that was the most disappointing day because I know that that was so winnable, but I also know that we were facing some obstacles just being outside for the first time. Uh, later on in the week went to Texas Lutheran and that was a really really windy day for us not getting tons of practice outside so far this season to be able to come up with a 9-0 win there was really really remarkable really proud of the guys for their adaptability and that's that's what these trips are all about um, is learning how to compete in totally new conditions with new opponents um, and finally we wrapped up the trip at Austin College this was a little bit of a painful day we started off with the rain and lightning delay so even though it stopped raining we couldn't even be on courts because we were waiting for the lightning pause to let us out there um, and beyond the tennis their coach just talked about how awesome our guys were just as soon as we could get out there we were out there with the squeegees we were cleaning the courts it was definitely the work of our guys that made it so that way we could even play at all and we ended up playing with a modified format so that way we weren't there till 11 o'clock at night we played one set for doubles and a pro set for the singles matches um, that one another incredibly windy cold day um, and a match that we might have been able to win 9-0 in most other conditions but we fought through those um, tough scenarios at the end of a long trip one at 6-3 um, yeah so much learning for the guys really really proud of them and uh, yeah, it's nice to nice to win in the the sunny, warmer weather. Uh, you you came back and pretty quickly turned around and headed down to Oregon to resume play uh, yeah. in Northwest Conference against Willamette and Pacific, um, splitting again down there. Um, talk about that weekend and how things went. Yeah, we actually flew straight into Portland from uh, the Dallas airport. So that was a little bit of a nice change of pace for us to not have to do that drive. Um, yeah, we played awesome against Willamette again. That was day something like 9 out of 10 um, on our road trip. Uh, so to have the guys show up with all the energy that they did, uh, a team that's got some real firepower at the top of their lineup, uh, and we fought really, really well to take two out of the three doubles with the energy that br we brought to their house um, was awesome. Uh, won the match 7-2 overall, and we really, uh, really dominated, honestly. we of the first matches that went on I think we had five we were playing on five courts three of them were 6-0 first set so when I was on the road by myself I only needed to focus on a couple couple of courts really proud of the guys to take care of business um, all the way through um, and then the next day uh, Pacific is a really really uh, talented team they're they're ranked 30 something in the nation right now we knew that was going to be a tough battle and they brought their A game against us I think we might have we might have used the all that was left in the tank against Willamette. Um, yeah, and that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, but yeah, we're excited to to rebound this coming week. You mentioned this coming week, a little bit of a crazy week. You're going to be on the road on Friday, mm -hmm. and then back here at home on Saturday. Is that a? How do you do that? Yeah, it's uh, it's not ideal. We we ended up moving the schedule around. I won't get into all the miss the pieces that went into that, but it is what it is, and we're going to roll with the punches. I think that's something that our guys have done really really well with this year. So we'll we'll play at UPS on Friday, and this is one of the last really big matches for us. We played them once in the preseason. I believe we beat them seven to two. Um, regardless of whatever that score line was, we know that we're pretty even with them all the way through the lineup. I think we're, we should win, but again, like any of those matches could go one way or the other. So we're excited to bring our A game and uh, 
finish the season strong. Um, we'll drive home that night and then we'll get to finish our conference play at home with George Fox uh, Saturday morning. Uh, they, again, a uh, nationally ranked team. They've been doing well at the NCAA tournament the past couple of years, so we know that they're tough and we've played tougher teams this year you know we've played Idaho we've played the Montanas we're we're excited to be able to compete at that really really high level and know that we we've got nothing to lose and what a better way to do that than at home